What's going on, everybody? Keith Mitchell here, and I've heard the calls, I've heard the pleads, and I'm here to help you. There are some people who watch my previous DS for Windows installations, and for one reason or another, they're not happy with the program. That's great. And assuming you actually did install the right program and not some kind of uh, malware, I'm going to show you how to uninstall the program because it's kind of tricky and you don't actually uninstall the program. You just simply stop services from running. When you install this, there were two parts. There was downloading the files and extracting them to a certain location and also installing a bus driver. So what we want to do is stop the driver first. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead into the machine. I'm going to launch DS for Windows because I want you to get the entire experience. I want to walk you from the very beginning to the very end. All right, DS for Windows is up and running. Now, if you go to settings and you go to controller driver setup, let me just extend this window ever so slightly. There was a bus driver that you installed, assuming you did install that. If you're having issues with this program and you want to uninstall it because the controller doesn't work, chances are you did not do the first step and installed the driver. But if you did, then we're going to show you how to uninstall the drivers. Close this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the control panel, which is where we need to do the majority of the work. And if my keyboard will stop being silly, we can proceed. Okay. Uh, settings. Control panel. I don't like this new control panel. I don't like it. I never did. I will go to the old school control. There we go and we will uninstall a program and it is called the v i g e m bus driver so we will uninstall this and it's preparing to remove depending on if your machine is fast or not it really doesn't make much of a difference but the driver will uninstall okay so take note here there is no folder everything here is in alphabetical order there is nothing in here called DS for Windows because that's for good reason. The application runs on command in whatever folder you put it in. So you're going to have to do a little bit of detective work to figure out where you put it. So we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So if you're like me, you set up DS for Windows to run at startup. So what you want to do is start the program up, left click on this to take that away. As you notice, your screen changes when you do that. Take that away. Left click on run at startup, not right click, left click, because I keep getting my left and my right confused. And then once you've done that, exit. Okay, now what we're going to do is I have my icon here. Your icon will be whatever. We're going to right click on this, go to properties, and it's going to tell us, hey, the target file is C temp DS for Windows, DS for Windows executable. And the folder is C temp DS for Windows. So I'm going to open up the file directory. I'm going to go down one folder. I'm going to see where DS for Windows is, and I'm going to say delete. Now it's gone. It is now removed from my machine. However, there is one more step we have to do. When we installed this program, it set up a profile directory that usually goes inside of your app, app data. To get to that, we're going to type ampersand, wrong keyword, <laughs> ampersand, A. P P D A T A. Enter. It will take you to your Roman directory, which is exactly where we want to go. You'll see a folder in there called DS for Windows. Left click on that. You'll see inside of here are all the logs ever made, all the profiles that it made for you as well. So we go back one directory. So we click on roaming, hover over DS for Windows again, and we hit delete. That's it. It's done. DS for Windows is now gone. It will not restart on your machine ever again. If you have an icon on your desktop or wherever, so this is old, I will click on it. Oh, now I'll click on the original one. They'll say, hey, I can't find this anymore because it is now completely removed. When you restart your machine, you don't have to restart your machine because it never really installed the program. It only installed the emulation driver, which is now gone. So at this point, DS for Windows is completely uninstalled from your machine. So if you want to use your DualSense controller on your PC, you will have to use it in Steam, which now has full support minus the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers. There you go. Well, obviously outside of Steam, you're still pretty much screwed. You can't use the uh, 
those sense outside of steam unless you run a game within steam so then the steam input mapper will wrap a wrapper around the game and hopefully it will work for you properly there's no guarantee it will work for every game there's where ds for windows comes in but we just removed it so you don't have it so once again everybody that's how you disable ds for windows for your machine hopefully this video was helpful and as always if you like the content be sure to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell and this has been keith mitchell from the outer haven hope this has been helpful thanks for playing see you next time yes i said thanks for playing because life's a game you gotta play games sometimes right take care